Hey, what's up, TouchPix users? Creating a video on the TouchPix print server. You need to install the print server, which is version 1.2.0. You can download this version on touchpix.com under support and downloads. You need to install this print server and you need to make sure you have iTunes running on the background. Once you install this print server, make sure that your printer is set on default. If you want to enable 2x6 cutting, you're going to need to go into your printer, uh, printing preferences. That's going to pop up. You're going to have to go over to advance. And you need to enable the cutter, the two inch cut. In this case, I'm not using uh, a strip template and I'm hitting OK, OK, and exit out of there. You are then have to make sure that your Wi Fi on your computer is plugged into the same Wi Fi as your iPad. It will then give you a USB. I'm USB or Wi-Fi option um, I'm gonna hook up via Wi-Fi so it's that's my IP address now I go up here to my touch picks um, program or app I go into settings from settings make sure it's on print I like to use manual IP because I type in the same IP address that I saw on the computer in here as you can see it's connected now uh, if I were to press disconnect, it'll disconnect. Now, I inputted that number manually, so I'm going to hit connect. I have it on under auto print, my DS40, and a 4x6 paper. Once you have that, obviously you want to make sure that this device is also on the same network. Hit save and close. I'm going to run a, a quick session, see what it does. I'm going to do animated GIF. Hopefully you guys can see it. I know it's pretty bright right now. As you can see, it did a, it did a GIF. You can send this via digital. And it also prints. Next printing method I'm going to show is air print. I'm using a photo booth Emporium aircom unit. Plugs in directly to your printer. Works off your wireless network. Make sure it's under the same Wi-Fi as your iPad. If you go over to touch picks, select print. Make sure your connection type is going to be air print. Uh, Printing needs to be set to manual. Down here, it also needs to be set to manual. And we're gonna do a session now, so you can see how this works. Sorry, it's pretty bright as well. That's one picture. It really comes down to preference. If you wanna use a PC, you can use a PC. It works phenomenal, it's pretty fast. If you wanna use an Aircom unit, that's also pretty handy to have. Uh, for certain setups where you just want to not carry a laptop. You see the printing icon on the bottom. It has to be manually selected with, with the air print unit. So you just hit print. It's going to send it over to the printer. You hear it kick on now. pretty easy it works both methods are pretty easy to install if you have any questions let me know